All right, CBT lesson for, am I saying it right? Anand, Viki, I know I'm saying it wrong. One of my old Skype students, and I forget what country. But anyways, this is for you. Uh, Melissa Etheridge with Precious Rain, CBT lesson. You want to tune standard. Um, I think this is your first CBT lesson that I've done, because before we were just doing lessons on Skype, working on, uh, I, I remember our lessons. We were working on uh, song ideas and soloing concepts and stuff. Um, this is four pages. Um, everything is explained in the tabs. Um, this is played on a 12-string acoustic. Kind of has that Kansas dust in the wind vibe to it. Um, everything's sectioned and, and time stamped. So if you lose track anywhere, you can pull up the tabs and it'll show you where you're at in the song. There are two guitars at some points in this. Um, and the basic um, concepts are all here. See if there was anything else I needed to tell you. I wanted to tell you how many uh, how many sections. We've got six sections. Now some of them are similar. And also with your picking hand, this is uh, finger picked when you're playing it. Um, you may want to experiment with fingers. I put the fret hand fingerings, I wrote them in your tabs for every single note. If you want to change it up, that's totally cool because um, everyone's finger length is different. So, but I, I put the fingering just so you would have it for a guide. As far as the finger, this part, this is uh, optional as far as what fingers you want to use as well with this. So, um, section one, zero seconds to 13 seconds, starts with a C add nine. It's 3A, middle finger, 2D, first finger, 3B, third finger. And um, the rests and all that are notated. Now, we're not doing actual. Uh, notation, you know, staff with uh, 16th note counts and 8th note and all that. So I, uh, you'll see in the tabs a method I use to let you know there's a rest in there. So um, that's how tabs are. They kind of work with your ear. Um, techniques are going to be notated as well. There's hammer-ons, there is slides, there's pull-offs, there's some fret hand muting within the chords. All that we'll get to in a second. Um, or somewhere during this lesson. So we have the chord sitting down ready to go. Make sure your knuckles are angled up because some of these notes we need in the chord need to be open strings. Okay, so we're gonna go A, D, and there's a rest after that. So string five, then we got D, B, G, D. So that would go. And you're gonna probably wanna subgroup a lot of these and experiment with the, the picking fingers, like I said, because I'm going thumb, thumb, middle, index, thumb. Um, you may want to do more of the four finger concept with this. I'm not sure where you're at with your finger picking. I'm doing this with three fingers throughout the whole song. So we have. And that's why I'm saying make sure the fingers are angled because we need to open G in there. If this index is dropped a little bit, it's gonna it's gonna mute, you don't want that. So keep that in mind. Finger picking's really particular with that because uh, we're playing single notes and if something's, you have some, uh, you know, a little bit of leeway when you're strumming something. If a note's muted, this, everything is stuck through the microscope. So A, D, B, G, D, E, B, G, E, G, B. That's the first chord concept before the hammer-on, which is coming up next. So let me play that slow. Then we lead into this. Uh, we need open D. We're gonna pick that with the thumb. Hammer on to the second fret. So strum, slam that finger down onto fret two. With your index or if your thumb, either way, we need the open G right after it. It's a triplet. You can even leave this down, no reason to lift that up. Let's try that again. Then we're going right back to where we started, but now it's A, D, G, high E. That follows the hammer on. Then G, B, G, D, A. Now when you hit that third fret off the A, it kind of starts another a little 
bass note walk down. It'll go. And I'll show you what happens there. So we're doing the three off the A, two off the D, and then this, if you listen close, like it's a little harder um, when it's a 12 string because you got an octave higher for each string. So you gotta listen in there really close, but you'll hear three, two, and then open G twice. Play like as if you were playing a bass. Go index, middle, or index, middle. Or middle, index, or index, middle. You just need two notes on the open G, so. Okay, and then we move to um, a new chord here, which is going to be G slash B. It's a combination chord. It's an easy one. First finger 2A. That's all you need. Make sure the finger's angled upwards. Go A, D, G, G again. So we can go. That's how I'm doing it. Thumb, thumb, middle, index. So we'd have. But like I said, experiment with the fingering. Then we move into A minor, which is 2D, 2G, 1B, and we're also going to need the pinky on 3B. There's a pull off, it'll sound like this. So we're going A, D, G, B, pull off to the first fret. So pick the G. Then the E. Then we need B and G. And then E, B, G. That would sound like this up to that point from the A minor. Back to the 3B, pull off to 1. Oops. And then D and G. And then A, D, G, B, but we're doing the third fret B, pulling off to the one. You'll see that in there a lot. Uh, G, E, B, G, and that can be a subgroup, just that. Like you can go from the pull off, that could even be a subgroup. Those three notes. So we'll have E, B, G, and it helps to repeat those to get used to them because it's your fingers are going the whole time so you're going to want to take it in smaller pieces and get used to it and then EBG so it's doubling up EBG EBG and then two open A's two A open D that's it for section one Section 2A is 14 seconds to 35 seconds, and we need third finger 3A, pinky 3B to get started on this. Um, it's Section 2A, you'll see why, because we're going to have a 2B and I think a 2C. They're all relevant to the same part of the song. Okay, second time, no star. You'll see that when we get there. So we're going to go A, G, B, short rest. Let me play a little bit of this. Oops. We're also going to need our middle finger on 2D. We can set that down later or we can do it right now. So we'll do that now. A, G, B, G, B, D, G, B, G, D. Let's just try that. Again. Okay. Then we have a high E open after that. So... That's a good subgroup. Where you find a rest in the song is a good spot, if you can, to subgroup and go back and repeat it to get used to it. So that would sound like this. Oops, try that again. Again. And then B, G, B. A, D, G, B. So after the rest you'd have And then B, G, B, and 3A, that's a rest after that, so you can subgroup that as a four note, and B. And 
And then we have GB. Uh, middle finger 2A. Oops. ADGB. And then you're going to see some double dots here. Go to your A minor chord. 2D. We're going to need 3G and 1B. And this one is A, D, B, E. Rest, B, G, D. Double dots. In music, that means repeat. So you would play that twice anyways, which is basically cool because you're subgrouping just within the double dots. And then again for the first half. A, D, B, G, and then B, G, B. Right? So. And then A, rest, G, B. Middle finger 2A, pinky 3B, go A, G, B. So the, that last two little chunks is. Right? And you could subgroup that. All right, then section 2B, 36 seconds to a minute 5. We're, we're still on A minor here. And you're going to go A, D, G, B. Okay, and then it's an A minor slash G. So kind of like a Zeppelin style thing. A, D, G, B. Take your third finger, go to three on the low E. Or your pinky, either one. And then, uh, let's see. Yeah, use your pinky on that and go E, E, B, G. So, it's just a matter of putting a G on the bass end. Okay, then, um, that might be it for that section. Let me double check. I kind of lost a spot. Let's see. Nope, we're still on a section. Now we have some double dots on this. You'll play an F chord. Bar the first fret E and B, middle finger 2 G, third finger 3 D. And we're going to pluck the D and the high E together. So kind of pinch them like this, offset this middle finger. And you want even volume. This is plucking upwards, this is strumming down. So you hit them together and then go B, G. Take your pinky, go to the third fret high E, leave everything else down on the neck. And then go D. So we have. And then B, G, B. That's going to repeat. So that's three times. times of that and then hit the D and E string together again rest go B E but keep the pinky on the third fret high E so it'll go or not keep it you have to drop it like that and then pluck the 3 1 on the D and E again do it again and hammer onto the third fret high E so I'm plucking over here and hammering to 3E. Then we have the... There's that subgroup. Back to A minor. A, D, B, E. Rest, B, D, or B, A, D. Or B, D, G. And then A, D, B, E. Okay, so we have. Uh, 
Uh, middle finger is going to be on the 2D. You'll hit that. Go open B. Hammer to the first fret. And then the second fret on the G string. So. And then the last line. A, D, B, E. And then go D, B, G, B. So those eight notes. A, D, G, B. Take your third finger, go up to the G root, which is third fret on the low E. Go E, D, G, B. So. Then we move to page two. This is pretty much the concept though for the whole song. This part is going to be probably one of the toughest ones. It's an F major again. But take your thumb and push the low E string down. Pluck the e, both E strings and then go B, G. Pinky to 3 E. Go D, B, G, B. So it's and do that three times. So we have And then G E G E twice. Middle finger comes off, pick the open G, hammer to the second fret, third finger goes to 3D, slide to 5. So strum, hammer, strum, slide. It's a whole step ascending slide, 3 to 5. All right, and then the next line is three low E, third finger. We got the first finger on one B, the pinky on the third fret on the high E. This is a G suspended. You'll go E, let me play it first. So it's... Okay, um, E, G, B, E, B, G, or G, B, G, B. G, B, G, B, two times. Lift your first finger off, now it's just a G major. And do the same thing on the strings. So it's... Then the next part comes in. This is uh, the F major again, where we do the thumb on the D, middle finger on the high E. And that's gonna be twice. D and E, B, G, drop the pinky to 3 E, do the D, B, G, B, two times. Right? And then 3, 2, open, open on the G, we can use whatever fingers there, strum those four. And then go G, B, E, but we're going to have the third fret on the high E, so it's... Section 2C is 106 to 112 in the song. Back to the F major with the thumb on the low E. And it'll go E and E, B, G, drop the pinky to 3, high E. Go D, B, G, B, three times. Right? And then the E and both E strings again. So pluck, B, G, B, so. And then go three D, pull off to two. So you're going to hit that with your thumb and snap and then pick an open D. Now make sure that this finger is solid because basically this becomes your pick. We're going to hit it with our thumb, snap this finger, 
right? And then lift that off, but make sure it doesn't go. You want. And that's it for part one.